It's been a rough few years for the Desert Rangers. When the world ended, they tried to bring some order to what was left of Arizona. But then the Cochise AI woke up and they found themselves in a fight to the death with its robot army. In the end, they had to nuke their own base to kill the damn thing for good. Been hard going ever since. Then, the Rangers heard from a fellow calling himself the Patriarch. Said he owned Colorado, but his kids were trying to steal it from him. And if the Rangers were to come and put him in their place, he'd give Arizona all the food and supplies it needed to rebuild and survive. Whoa, whoa! Sorry, Major. No way we're getting through that. 10-4, Cody. Advance team reported an alternate route across a frozen lake. Find it. Copy that. Well, reluctant as the Rangers are to interfere in family squabbles, they weren't really in a position to say no. Our route's around that dam on the far shore. Scouts, check out the ice and lead us across. Yes, ma'am. So the brass sent Ranger Team November across the Rockies. Because the aid he was promising the Rangers wasn't just their best hope. It was their last. Okay, Major. All good. Come ahead. But that's the thing about the Rangers. It doesn't matter how hard it gets or how many of them fall. They keep on fighting. The Rangers never stop fighting.
Hang in there, November. Almost got it. Here, you two. Come here. Listen, if you want to live through this, we gotta take up. We'll each find our own way up there and catch him front and back. Got it? Good. And all right, move out.
should I know? Maybe you blew her up already. Why? Jared, where is she? Fuck! Your friends are here. Okay, Hotlanders. Drop your guns and she doesn't die. Got it? Okay, okay. Fuck you! I'm telling my cousins for you. Thanks. You probably should have killed that, and I appreciate thanks. You guys are lifesavers. Wait, Major Tom. He might have made it. Saw him take off like a bat out of hell. I don't know if he'll come with you if you find him. He gets pretty spooked, but take these. Might get his attention. <laughs> Major's just his nickname. You can just call him Tom when you find him. Gotta catch my wind first. Let me be careful. Anders coming. Bye. Ruining our fun. Guess we better finish off the rest of them. <laughs> ah! Post up, cousins. Don't let them get the drop on us.
Patience and stab it.
Looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance, I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> The rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> My big brother, he'd have loved to take a piece out of you, but that's okay. I'll bring him one later. <laughs> you don't know much, do you? The Dorseys are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. And it all begins here, you little prayer dog. What I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save <laughs> Jared! Doggy! Uh, never shut up! Heads up, Rangers! More incoming!
Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any others? I got jumped by more of these fucks as I was oh, sneaking up here. I got them all, but the last one got me with a... But I, I asked you a question, Rangers. Did anyone else make it? Bell's a good kid. Thank you. You did... Well... Now... We do that, and the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't, and the Rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. Uh, only me. Uh, got them from... Got them from General Woodson. When we first heard from the Patriarch, General Woodson sent an, sent an advanced team to Colorado, led by Angela... Death. But they went dark. We have to... find them. Mm. Not much yet. He's the boss of Colorado. He's rich, and he's willing to share food and supplies with Arizona in exchange for a little firepower. So, so we better not mess this up. Part of the ranger squad that took down base Cochise 20 years ago, only one who's, who's still alive almost died on a mission in California, but, but she found her way home. I can't, can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. Give me a second. Catch my breath, and we can go. It doesn't matter how bad my wounds are. We can't stay here. All right, do it. Oh, warm.
Mr. Prasad? They got her? God damn it. Fuck this place. Fuck it. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriot. Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So, here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. Be my guest. Well done. I wish I could give you all the Dorseys. And maybe, before all this is over, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. I'm glad to find you so amenable. I hope that means we're going to get along. Now, <sighs> introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado, though you'll meet some who disagree. This base is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now, yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here.
Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gretzky. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us, too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situate the Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing... And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah! Let's talk after you kill the alarms. I can hardly hear myself think.
Done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Valor, and Victory. Two of them conspired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished them. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Protection? You think I need protection? Stop trying to be smart and listen. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. And Liberty's raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? What do you want to know? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else... Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The Hundred Families, the Gippers, the Marshals, they're all out for themselves. And they know my kids would make good figureheads, give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back home might think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can save your people. Nobody else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway, I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. <sighs> Soft, spoiled, 
fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. Made him no oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. No, but the Gippers are tough and well-armed, and Denver's a death trap. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains, everyone working for her. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. You'd better. Anything else? Uh-huh. Possibly. But I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both. My staff and I coordinated the deep. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full risk. Good. What else do you need? Of course. Cool. She's having trouble. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. That's what.